Okay, everyone, to get started with this video, with this tutorial, you will need whatever white um, shirt you will be using, 100% cotton. It could be cotton sublimation. Um, I did use at one point a Walmart Wonder Nation that was 60% cotton and 40% recycled polyester. These ones, however, are, uh, what does it say? Right there, 100% cotton. Okay, you can focus. But these ones are 100% cotton. I picked them up from Walmart in a pack of five. So that's what we will be putting the image on. These ones, you will need your powder, your DTF powder, whichever one you prefer. I have the Yalmation as well as the Yalmation DTF transfer film, okay? So yeah, without further ado, you guys, let's get into this video. Let's see if this hack is really gonna work. Okay, everyone, so here we are in Silhouette Studios and I just took these images from Google Images, if you all been following and been watching some of the other videos, then you know sometimes I do just go to Google Images and get images from there. And then I just uh, download them and then upload, open it and drag it over into Silhouette Studios, okay? So this is my son's school logo. It is gonna, it's like Spirit Day or something um, this Friday. So I'm going to put this shirt together and I'm kind of nervous cause I'm doing it with the inkjet printer. And, but you know what? Let's just see how this heck turns out, okay? And don't forget to mirror your image, you all. I have to mirror, so I'm gonna group this and mirror. And I use eight and a half, right here, flip horizontally. I am using the eight and a half for my page setup. It's eight and a half by 11, okay? And then again, you are just going to measure how big you want the image to be on your T-shirt. Without me grouping this, this is going to be just these two top images are going in the front. This little paw I'm going to probably put like on the sleeve. So I got it 8 in height and then 7.5 in the length, okay? So now I'm just going to group this all together again. And then it's already mirrored. It's flipped. So now I'm going to send it over to the inkjet printer. And I'll see you all over there and let's see what this design turns out like, okay? Okay, everyone, so here's my inkjet printer. Oh man, I pray that this works. I have the Envy Pro 6400 series, and I believe we picked it up at our local Best Buy for maybe like a little over $100, maybe like $120, $130. This is the direct-to-film that I've already used before in a previous video. So it says already on here, print side. So just keep in mind when you pull your sheet out that the top part is the print side, okay? The part facing you is print side. So you have to know which way your printer is going to print, all right? So this is um, the DTF film by Yalmation. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this out the pack. Okay, so this is my print side here, okay? You have, well, it kinda is a little shiny on this side, if you can see, and then the dull side is the print side. So this is the side I will be facing down in my printer because I know how my printer prints out, okay? All right, let's get it in here. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and hit print and let's see how this image turns out. Okay, everyone, here it is printing out. It looks bright, it looks vibrant. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the DTF powder and look at my paw right here smeared. Okay, but I'm not gonna worry about that. We'll go ahead and test it out on this uh, top image up here, okay? Okay, everyone, so this is my DTF um, powder that I have in this container. And again, this is the packaging for it, okay? All right, and it, as you can see, it says for white medium. So this is not to go on dark, okay? No dark color shirts, all right? And now I'm just going to lay it in here, politely throw some powder on there. Okay, and then just grab it by the corner and move it around for it to fill up the whole image. All right. 
And even though my paw smeared, I'm still going to uh, try and see if I could use it. I'm going to probably put that on the sleeve. All right, just get it on there real, real good. My bear cat. Okay. It is fully covered, okay? Now I'm gonna take it to the heat press because now I have to cure it. So I'm gonna just let my heat press, like, how do you say it? Like kind of just ho ho hover, 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 hover <laughs> on the top of it so it can melt, okay? And then it should turn into like crystals, all right? So I'll see you guys over at the heat press. Okay, everyone, so for this step, I had started to cure it. I didn't know my camera wasn't recording, but all I did was lay it on here, okay? And at 400 degrees for 60 seconds, I am just going to close my heat press just a tad bit over the um, image. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just do that about two, three times until I see that it has completely uh, been cured, okay? So I'm gonna cure it one more time. I've already done it twice. I'm gonna do it one more time just to be safe and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so my heat press is at 325 for 16 seconds. I always go up about a notch or two on my time and temp just to make sure my heat press reaches the exact time and temp that I need for my presses. And I'm gonna just center this All right, let's see if I have it right. Okay, I think that looks good, you guys, and I'm gonna cover it. Here we go. I'm nervous, I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh my God. And I have it at like a medium, like a medium press, okay? All right, so I'm gonna let this, well, it's not gonna be that long. It's already down to six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to, I'm gonna sit this in front of my air conditioner and let it cool it down. And uh, yeah, we'll let it, it's gonna be a cold peel, so we'll see how this works, okay? Okay, y'all, so it's cooled down. I sat it in front of our air conditioner. I'm so nervous, I'm not even gonna lie. I went back in and did a second press because this corner right here, for some reason to me it wasn't taking but here goes here goes here goes nothing come on come on oh 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 my gosh okay all right i was nervous y'all i was really really nervous but look at that oh my gosh i'm gonna have to do an update too to see if this how long does this last on here okay but look it turned out awesome it really did okay i'm gonna do the paw i'm gonna put the paw on the sleeve right here and then when i'm done with that i will come back and show you all the whole t-shirt okay okay everyone so the hack did work the dtf hack on 100 percent cotton using the inkjet printer it worked you guys okay I'm very satisfied for the way it came out, um, especially it, especially because I didn't think it would come out this soft, and it, it did, it came out really soft. So the only thing is make sure it's really, that your image is cured really good because right here I noticed it lifted just a tad bit right there around the edge, as well as in the middle of the paw. See how some of the ink came up as well? So that let me know it wasn't cured all the way. But other than that, you guys, it came out great. And it's on the 100%. This is Wonder Nation 100% cotton. I showed you all the package in the beginning of the video. Okay, and it's soft too. It's it's like a, it's like lighter than your original like 100% cotton, like your Gildan shirts. These are actually a lot softer. So if you guys like this video, if it was very helpful, fun, you know, very informative, uh, yeah, just don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see y'all in the next video. Stay blessed. Bye.